I am out at the best first thing to do in Albuquerque. Of course, I'm talking about the ABQ Trolley Company. We are here at the Hotel Albuquerque, just north of, uh, of Old Town. They've got a lot of things going on, guys. If you are like me, you're a New Mexico resident, you probably hopped on the trolley a time or two for a tour, but they've got a lot of new things going on, especially this weekend. they got a very special event going on with some local craft breweries. We're going to be hopping on board, getting information about the Peddler, about the Ghost Walk, about their upcoming Saul tour. You better call Saul fans you want to hear about this, that, and so much more. We're also going to be heading to one of the breweries to get you a sneak peek of what is ahead for you this weekend on the Hopper. But you got to wait for it. We're going to hop on the road, and we'll come back to you in just a few minutes. We are out here on the road. We are on Mountain on the way to one of the breweries that will be part of the Hopper. I'm here with Jesse Heron, who is one of the co-owners and co-founders of ABQ Trolley Company. So, Jesse, you guys are very busy. you got a lot of stuff going on. Yeah, we, we are uh, super swamped right now. You know, trolley season is, you know, mid-season, full effect. The tourists are here. Uh, you know, we have the Albuquerque Downtown Ghost Walk, which is offered every Friday and Saturday night. That's almost a year old now. And the brand new Duke City Peddler, which uh, just last week uh, was out 10 different times. So we're just getting busy, 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 doing different things, offering different things for locals and visitors here in Albuquerque. Wow, that's great. So the peddler, tell us a little bit more about that, how it works. I mean, we see the bicycle. You don't have to technically tell us how it works, but we hop on with some friends and we're collectively riding around town. Is that how it works? Yeah, so you can either book it for, uh, you know, you and your private group, um, or we do social rides twice a week where you can buy one individual ticket and it's like a public ride and you're meeting people from all over the country, you're meeting locals. And we have a driver, uh, they all start at Civic Plaza, and we just go to various breweries and bars and restaurants in the downtown kind of area. Yeah, you can hear, you got some fans whistling outside there. They, they're they big fans of the trolley. So uh, another thing that's coming up that I think that's pretty exciting, of course the Bad Tour has been a great thing for you guys. Of course, Better Call Saul being out, you now have a Saul Tour coming up, is that right? Yeah, we have a Saul Tour, uh, September 27th, it's a Sunday at 10 a.m. So tickets are on sale for that right now. Um, we did the first Salt Tour uh, back in April, and that was fantastic. And we had a good response, and people are just asking for more. So we got one coming up in September, and we'll probably add another one or so during Balloon Fiesta as well. So it's all Better Call Saul stuff, two and a half hours. Oh, that's great. And just want to stress to folks at home, guys, remember, ABQ Trolley, you guys sell out quick. So if they want to book tickets, for the peddler, for the ghost walk, for this. How's the best way to do that, Jesse? Uh, just online, abqtrolley.com, uh, dukecitypeddler.com, albacreepy.com, right there. They're all on our homepage right there with li links to the tickets. You can also call our box office. We're at Hotel Albuquerque nine to five most days and just book it over the phone. But that's the internet's the best way for us. Fantastic, all right. Well, we're gonna be, like I said, we're on our way to Marble Brewery right now. They are part of the Hopper. We're gonna to talk a little bit more about that coming up later on in the show. But for now, we're gonna send things back into the studio. I am out here at one of the stops uh, featured on the Hopper, which is going on this weekend. I'm here with Leah Black, who is the events and marketing coordinator here at Marble Brewery, along with Jesse Heron, co-owner and co-founder of ABQ Trolley Company. So Leah, before we find out what's going on here, you guys have been busy here at Marble. Jesse, tell us about the Hopper. What is this event going on this weekend? Well, the Hopper is a uh, brand new tour that we've started this season. It's the only one of its kind in New Mexico and perhaps the Southwest. And it's this Saturday from six to 10, and it's basically a hop on, hop off microbrewery tour. Okay. So for $20, uh, you get a ticket and a wristband. And then the trolley just makes a loop to five different microbreweries in the Old Town downtown area. And you can just hop on, hop off, do that sort of thing. So it's Marble Brewery, Ponderosa Brewing Company, Tractor in Wells Park, the brand new Rio Bravo Brewing Company, which I think a lot of people are excited to see and mm -hmm. check them out. And then our friends at Back Alley Draft House downtown. So it's six to 10 this Saturday night. Okay, and you were saying earlier that this is something that people can, they can decide if they wanna stay at one brewery for a little longer, they can do so, hop off, and then pick up the next flight later on so they can spend a little bit more time, you know, maybe nurse their beverage if they want to. Yeah, so the trolley just makes a continuous loop. So every 30 minutes, you'll see the trolley pull up outside uh, a brewery out on the patio. And if you want to hop back on it to go to the next one, you're welcome to. Uh, if not, it's going to make another pass, you know, half an hour after that. So unlike most of our other tours where we have a tour guide and that sort of stuff, this is just, you know, driver, trolley, hop on, show your wristband, 
go to Marble, have a beer. Uh, you get a dollar off all your pints at night at all the breweries as well. And oh, great. Yeah, so it's kind of cool. So no rush. Leave the driving to us. It's pretty cool. We're there excited about it. That's right. Yeah, leave the driving to these guys. All right, well, as we said, we are here at one of the featured breweries, Marble Brewery. And Leah, it's, it's pretty easy to say that Marble has been one of the premier craft breweries in New Mexico. You guys have really kind of set the bar very high crazy. for the business. Yeah, it's been crazy. And actually, we just broke ground on a 7,000 square foot renovation on the north side of the building. Um, we have a giant new parking lot to the west, too. So come out and know that you can park somewhere. Mm -hmm. You're going to be fine. Um, but yeah, we are we can't keep up with production, which I guess is a great problem to have. Yeah. Um, so it's going to be a fun couple of months as we're moving stuff around in the brewery and working on that. We've just renovated our pub, and that's beautiful. Mm -hmm. And the exciting news is that we're going to have a rooftop deck facing the Sandias. Really? Yeah. OK. Yeah. OK, so uh, obviously, I, I imagine because business has been so good, it's, it's given this opportunity to have great things like this stage. So you guys have a lot of live music. You have a lot of events going on here. Is that right? We do. And actually, there's never a cover. The music is always free. Um, we've got music now since it's warm out, uh, usually five nights a week, which is pretty neat. Um, you can always go to marblebrewery.com to check out all the events that are coming up and the food trucks that are rotating every day. We've got random food trucks out here and uh, off-site events. We've been traveling all over for beer festivals. This is a really crazy time, but come out and have fun on the trolley. It's going to be such a fun night on Saturday. Yeah, it is. It's going to be a lot of fun. Now, do you guys have music playing on Saturday night? Will we get to see some of that music? We do. We've got music and we've got two food trucks. It's, it's going to be awesome. Also, uh, make sure you go like us on Facebook because we'll give you constant updates on there, too. Oh, there you go. That's great. All right. So, yeah, guys, obviously, you know, if you're going to come out, uh, we, we recommend regardless, whatever you're doing at the end of the night, you find a designated driver. You be very responsible with your drinking. But as Jesse said a little while ago, leave the driving to the experts here and do it very, you know, very safely and really enjoy the city in style. So again, Jesse, hit us one more time, the details, the times, and how we can get tickets to this. All right, so uh, the best way to get tickets, abqtrolley.com. It's right there on our homepage. It's this Saturday night, August 1st, 6 to 10. It starts at Hotel Albuquerque, so free parking at the hotel. Uh, and put your car there, hop on the trolley, and it's uh, Ponderosa, Tractor, Rio Bravo, Marble, and Back Alley Draft House, 6 right. to 10, this Saturday night, August 1st. That's fantastic. And as Leah was saying, too, guys, they'll have food trucks on site, on location, so you can stop in, you can get your food and get your dinner, have a really great time, listen to some live music, and really check out the amazing renovations that you guys have done here. It's very impressive. Thanks. Leah, thanks for letting us uh, come in, check it out this morning. Jesse, thanks for giving us the ride. Again, for more information on the hopper and what is going on with the ABQ Trolley Company, head over to Casa.com. But for now, we're going to head things back over to the studio.